Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to English Football Club Barcelona, your Barcelona channel in English. Well, today we have some news to talk about. One of them, especially, it's an analysis we are going to do about Barcelona and Helen. I can say that now. But that's at the end of the video, so don't forget, don't, don't miss it. And without more delay, let's start. <laughs> Well, of course, if we want Barcelona to sign new players, what we have to do is to make the players that we have out. Now, that's quite logic. We cannot be signing new players when we don't have even money to pay the ones we have now. No? One of the options, it seems that is Dest. We have some of them, but one of them, it seems that Dest, that he didn't convince uh, Xavi yet that he should be the the right back of Barcelona. Barcelona has thought of selling him this winter, and it seems, or well, this January, and it seems that he doesn't have in mind to leave the team. He, what he wants, and actually that's what he said before coming, no, it's he, he wants to, to be important in the club in Barcelona. Last year, I think he had many options. This year, He's having many minutes, not with Xavi, because as I'm saying, he doesn't like him much, but with other coaches, I think that uh, Des had many chances yet, and he didn't finish adapting to the club. It's same for Frankie De Jong, same for other teams, no? for other players. So probably a sell would be very good for the team, but as I'm saying, Des in this moment doesn't have in mind to be sold. Other player who wants to leave, uh, who should leave, it's Coutinho. In this case, the Brazilian player, it seems that he has decided to leave. That probably this January we will see Coutinho leaving the club. But that's not sure because uh, Barcelona wants to put him in an exchange with uh, Manchester United or Manchester City or another team. But it seems that the Brazilian player is thinking of going to the Premier League, but not, not as a loan. A Premier League where they still want him. No? So that would be a very good option for him. And another player who Barcelona wants to make him out is Umtiti. If you remember some of this ago, we were saying that Benfica is interested in the, in the center back of Barcelona. But it seems that the player doesn't want to leave. This time he's saying that he wants to leave, and this is not the case. Uh, the case of this of I want to say because I want to show how good I am and I want to be important in Barcelona. No, in his case is because Benfica is not going to pay the same as Barcelona in Spain, and he knows that this is going to that, that he what he wants is to get every single euro that Barcelona has. Why? Because before he was crying, no, don't let me... That's a, a, a fact, no? He went crying to Laporta, asking for not let him, uh, make him leave the club. Barcelona said, okay. And after that, okay, Barcelona offered him a, a reduction of the salary to cut his salary, and he didn't do anything. So... Well, no words. And which players Barcelona is thinking of signing? Well, as you could see in the picture before, we had, <clears throat> sorry, we had Luc Dijon, who is in an exchange or a swap with this man from the Inter of Milan. Now, uh, Barcelona is thinking of getting back Alexis Sanchez. For me, he was a wonderful, not a wonderful, but he was a quite good forward. Um, maybe, maybe a bit, um, uh, how to say, we didn't consider him or we didn't think we didn't talk about how good he was because this player has been playing in many other great teams in Europe. Or maybe I confused him with Pedri, but I'm not sure. But Alexis Sanchez, as far as I know, he was in some team. If I'm not wrong, he was in Manchester United too. Um, 
And in this case, he's in Inter Milan, Milan, uh, a Milan that, if I'm not wrong, last year they won the Serie A of, of Italy, of Italy, of Italy, yeah. So I wanted to say Italia, of Italy. So I think his uh, his incorporation could be a good option for Barcelona, but I'm saying I'm having the same doubts about. Alexis Sanchez that I had before about Brathwaite. Now, um, and in this case, it's even worse because Alexis Sanchez, his career is all going down already. Let's be let's be sincere. Uh, he he lived great, wonderful years in Barcelona, but if we could, we we should sign a better player, I think, than Alexis Sanchez. But that's true. There is something that I want to remark here. If it's an exchange for Luc de Jong, welcome. Why? First, because Luc de Jong is giving nothing to Barcelona. It's a zero on the left of the team. The other play, the other, the other day when we played with Luc de Jong, we were playing with ten players because he was disappeared. He he didn't contact the ball. He did nothing literally. So in this case. Considering what we have and what we can have, I think Alexis Sanchez is a very good option, sincerely. The other option, that, but is not for this winter, it's because for Alexis Sanchez is for this winter. Actually, I read a few minutes ago that Alexis Sanchez, uh, that the agreement is already done, but there is, uh, we still need to Xavi to say yes. And in another media, I read that Xavi has said no yet. So let's see what happens. No, but it seems that the agreement is that. I don't think Xavi is going to say no. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I don't know really, but I don't uh, I don't know what Xavi sees in Luc de Jean, but I, I sincerely prefer Fre uh, Alexis A, of course, he knows the philosophy of the club because he he's ever played. That he's ever played and second because it's better player in this moment sincerely and another player who can have uh, who can who, who may come it's uh ferran torres ferran torres the player from from manchester city is a good option for barcelona i consider him as a very good option for the forward mm. The problem is economically, because uh, until this moment, Barcelona, the, the positions were quite far, 14 million or 15 million euros far away. But it seems that now they are getting understanding each other. I think, personally, I think that Ferran Torres will come to Barcelona next summer. But let's see the conditions or let's see what happens because this is football and everything may change from one day to another. Remember some years ago, we were saying we are going to sign a PSG player for free. I don't remember his name. I'm very bad for names. And later, he disappeared. Literally, no more information about this player. Actually, he never came to Barcelona, etc. So that's that's all. No. And last thing, and that's the most the most important, uh, Haaland. This is this, I like this picture actually. <laughs> it's quite interesting. Eh? Uh, it's like Laporta saying, "Do you see that guy is going to be ours?" And and then Helen say, "Hey, you, I'm going there." Well, um, dream is apart. There is a, a last rumor that is coming from Germany, and it's that Helen just really he played the last match for Borussia Dortmund for this year. And then he ran around the stadium saying goodbye to everyone. And some media thought that that could be uh, a Christmas, uh, Christmas, uh, well, desiring a happy Christmas. No. But other people were saying that that's a farewell. No. Well, uh, we don't know because a. Uh, if there is something that they are going to do, that's Rayola's information and B, I don't think so actually, but well, then no, because it seems that there was an agreement between Borussia and Mino of 
letting Haaland to be in, in, in Borussia for two years and then he would be free. I don't know how this, where does this information come from or whatever. No, but what I want to talk about is how Barcelona is going to get this signing. Because it's true that Haaland is one of the players that every team in, the, in Europe wants him. Uh, in this moment, Rayola said there are four teams, but one of the teams that most carefully has moved and more has moved to get Haaland is Barcelona. One of the thing, one of the reasons is that we don't have money to pay him, so we need to attract him by other ways. Now, it's true that Haaland, or I want to say, that, I want to think that it's true that Haaland has said that if Barcelona next year is not in the Champions League, he will not sign. So for this reason, I think that Haaland is not going to come this winter. So that information of Haaland is leaving may be wrong, or maybe right, but not to Barcelona. But Barcelona is thinking, as I told you yesterday, Barcelona is, well, yesterday, two days ago, is talking with CVC to reach an agreement for those 270 million euros. Also, they are meeting, also, um, we have a found man or a found corporation that time to time they give us money to sign players okay this is called goldman sachs i think we've ever talked about them is the same fund that some months ago gave us 525 million or 595 millions for uh, to pay back in 10 years for that lack of money that we had and it seems that if we get that agreement with cvc and we get the agreement or we get some finance fi financial from uh, Goldman Sachs, we will have the 170 millions that will cost to sign Helen. Why so expensive? You may think because it's 25 million euros to pay to Borussia Dortmund, supposedly. But later we have to pay his salary. We have to include it in the money, in the economy of the club. Then the 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 benefits that Rayola will get and Hannah's father probably too. So which I'm not really I don't really agree of paying Hannah's father, but well that's one option. And the other is making players out. As I told you before, the idea is selling Dest uh, Dest Umtiti and Coutinho, probably Frankie too will uh, will get in this in this thing. And also we will lose players like Sergio Roberto and Dembele who didn't renew yet. So all of that will let us sign uh, Callan, and with that money we uh, supposedly we can sign him. And I know many people is thinking, you don't have money at all. How are we going to sign? So, well, I guess they are doing some kind of economical engineering to 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 make the numbers because FIFA will not will be and especially La Liga will be very very will watch very carefully those movements. But as I'm reading in in the media, designing possibilities. Let's see if it's done. But I think that Helen. One of the options I read the other day that Rayola said to Laporta that for Haaland, one of the options, the, the most interesting options is Barcelona. And personally, I think so. You know, uh, Laporta has moved a lot, etc. It seems that there is some kind of feeling from outside. So we will see, you know, but let's hope so. Anyway, remember that bringing Haaland will not give us the stability we need. That we need to bring to build a team because in this moment there are just 11 players playing behind the ball and that's not a team uh anyway thank you for watching the video i'd like to know if you think that that of Haaland is possible or not so leave it there on the comment section please i would i would love to read it and thank you for watching us and see you in the next video have a nice day